Hello everyone, welcome to a special late night video. It's not really late night here in Australia, but it could be wherever you are in the world. I do love these special videos because it gives me an opportunity to answer some of those nitty gritty questions that we get from our commenters and viewers. Uh, so please never stop doing that. We do have a Discord for those that are new and visiting or pre-existing. So check out that link in the description below. If you want to hit me up on Discord with some questions, uh, we are of course open to that. Uh, if I don't answer it, somebody else that's Equally experienced will be able to answer that for me. <laughs> I might chime in and put my two cents, but uh, don't feel like, um, you know, we're neglecting you or anything. We definitely endeavor to answer all the questions that arrive. But in terms of this video, this video is directed towards Jojo. So Jojo, if you're watching, shout out to you. I'm not entirely sure if you're a boy or a girl, so, but that really doesn't matter. You, of course, are on our S30, no, S10, sorry. Oh, I almost said S33 uh, for the uh, Yawning Way account, but no, you're actually on Warlord's account. You're in CVS and you are asking a couple of questions relating to wings. So I think today's video is all things wings. Um, I think that we're going to stick with that. If I change it, <laughs> oh well, but I think I think that's a good, good title of the video, all things wing. Um, Basically, you're talking about your G2 wings, which is the Netherese. Uh, I did ask you, did you have the frost? And I think you basically were saying uh, you couldn't get it because it's really hard to get. So should you spend on wings or should you refine them? Pretty much, I do get this comment every, well, question or comment quite a lot. So I figured this will be a great way to address that uh, in a video. It might be a little bit lengthier. So if you're new or visiting chill out for those that already know they already know i do like to speak a little bit uh, i try to get the maximum amount of information out there um if i'm incorrect please correct me in the comment section as well uh, i know tom will <laughs> uh well, i love that if he still watches these videos you never know tom tom's been quiet lately um uh, but anyway with wings wings are interesting Wings are essentially cosmetic until you start to level them up higher. Uh, what I mean by that is most people will start out with the butterfly wings. Uh, you get a butterfly feather. We'll show you where to acquire those. You still need some butterfly feathers in order to upgrade the wings to G2, So, which is the Nether Phantom. But then from the Nether Phantom, it kind of it, it sucks a little bit. Um, from a free to play perspective, Nether Phantom is pretty much where you're going to stop. Unless, of course, players keep putting in feedback and suggestion to the official Facebook and Discord channel, uh, essentially telling them to uh, stop being greedy so and so's <laughs> and allow us to acquire the Frost Sword Feather for free or for grinding. Because at the moment, that's pretty much where the. Um, I guess the free-to-play wall begins at Reliquary of Souls. Uh, so the question is going to be, I'm going to answer your question, then I'm going to talk a little bit about everything else that relates to the wings. So it might be tied in there. And of course, I'll respond with my, uh, I'll, I'll respond via comments to just let you know and clarify as well, just so you don't panic and be like, oh, the event's ending. Do I do it? Do I not? A short answer is, uh, you should upgrade and refine these feathers um, because you're not going to be advancing any further. So you're going to need some butterfly feathers that you've stocked up on in order to uh, upgrade the base stats of your nether feather or your nether phantom wings, I should say. Nether feather, what's that from? Um, but in terms of spending your merit badges to do it, we'll delve into that a little bit more because you can, of course, acquire the um, butterfly wings from other areas. Uh, we can kind of suss that out but in terms of everything else that's going on this is sort of where it gets sketchy uh you're going to need the frost sword feathers uh, eventually you're going to need the thunder fire feathers which is going to be mega expensive so for the light spenders you're going to be able to get reliquary and then went to prism and then it's going to stop there for quite a long time as you see, I haven't even got Winter Prison yet because I haven't actually gotten to the top five of uh, Arms Race for a while now. I've um, kind of looked at it from a value perspective and said it's kind of shit, uh, it, which it really is pretty shitty. 
If you think about spending the same equivalent money for the reward exchange, uh, Limited Heroes and Billionaire are just significantly better than Arms Race. Um, but anyway, Tom did the maths on that too, and I don't question what he came up with. I actually agreed because I looked at it and went, mm, same value, chasing feathers, eh... I think I'd prefer to just spend it on billionaire event. Anyway, I've digressed. In terms of this, when you start to reach the Thunder Feather realm, you will need, of course, lots more Thunder Feathers in order to acquire uh, Netherese God. So this one needs to be tier two. This is interesting. So this means that you need to upgrade Blazing Phoenix to tier two to get this guy to tier two. And then you need an additional Thunder Feather to get uh, the Nether God. And then you need to do a Tier 2 Nether God and another Thunder Feather in order to get Solar Ray. Now, for those that are probably wondering, they're like, you know, um, let's just jump out of that. You, you probably be like, okay, so aesthetically pleasing, yes. Then all of a sudden they become an absolute powerhouse for those that like to spend money. Total damage increase 40%, uh, total damage reduction 40%. And this is their base stat, ladies and gentlemen. These things go to phenomenally high levels because you can keep refining them. Um, in terms of uh, in terms of it, yeah, that's just, that, that's the truth. That's, you're going to face that, that reality. Unfortunately, you're going to get some killer statistics as you progress with your feathers. And they stop becoming pretty and they start becoming lethal. Um, even here at the Reliquary of Souls, their level is all damage plus 10%. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about how do we refine these and whether or not uh, we should be refining them because we do have the butterfly feathers. But we're checking that out in a sec. But let's talk a little bit about Arms Race and how to acquire this for free. So in your server event, uh, generally speaking, if you're a free-to-play player, you should be able to get about 500 to 550 of the... Uh, troops just for free uh if you max out every single one of your missions and what that should hopefully get you depending on your ranking and the activeness of your server you should be able to sneak your way into being able to get one of these uh butterfly feathers for free uh which i think is is not uh not a bad thing i would say it, it is achievable uh obviously you, you do need to um you know, focus on acquiring it through your missions but like as you can see 534 was the lowest that you needed and like i said you can potentially get that uh by grinding out your missions as far as i know i've never actually sat down and calculated the total troops that you can acquire here um just remember though you're also going to be able to get Well, well, yeah, level nine's a bit sketchy. I was thinking you might be able to get it from there as well. Um, I mean, look, if you can't acquire it through troops, of course, that's where the next question comes into, should I buy it with the rare feather? Honestly, for 50 merit badges, which is about 5k gold, I, I would be loathe to say yes, but then I have to look at it from a free-to-play perspective. Um, honestly, though, I'd, I'd ask you, Jojo, what are you doing with your legendary weapons first? Uh, have you maxed out your... Um, have you got seven-star legendary heroes? Because realistically, I'd be focusing on your legendary weapons and your legendary hero shards than trying to get the rare feathers to upgrade uh, or refine, essentially, is what I, I read that as, was you're looking to refine them. Um, I wouldn't really be buying butterfly wings to do that. I'd be focusing on uh, doing the rest of your team. Let's have a look at, see what you're at. So where are you? You've got a plus. You don't seem to have any legendary heroes. Hmm. Are you, are you saving up for Daochan? Are you, are you saving up for Daochan in the wish shop? Is that where you're purchasing your daily shards? Cause you should be purchasing your daily shards from the wish shop. Um, if that's, if that's what you're doing, absolutely go for that. Uh, of course you can buy the butterfly feather from here, which I did at the very beginning of the, uh, the game, but in terms of, um, do I regret it? Eh, 
wasn't really valuable. <laughs> you probably should be focusing on buying the legendary shards from here. And of course, uh, you may be even thinking about buying one of these transformations to get your first uh, upgraded version of an epic. Uh, if that's something that you'd like to do, Sun Quan is a great pick. Um, but yeah, I would probably say uh, forego spending your um, your tokens. You should personally, I would I would recommend that you don't do that. I recommend you buying out your legendary shards here, and um, and building your first legendary on Warlord. If I was going to tell you any legendary to build, it would be uh, Zia Zhu. Zia Zhu is by far the best one out of these ones to date. Uh, Zhu Zhuang is interesting. Salshi is nice. But Zhu is going to do you the most overall damage. Um, he is, yeah, he's just simply better. I would pick him. Of course, if you're going down the free-to-play account route, uh, Dao Chan is fine as well. You can get her shards from the shop. You can get her shards from the uh, Blitz your side quest splits over here so you need to unlock that at level 40 49 so level 49 you will be able to acquire uh basically let's scroll all the way down to the bottom of warlord you'll be able to get dao chan shards after level 49 or chapter 49 uh so make sure you're doing your side quest for that i mean i'm kind of sidetracking here but i do want to answer your question on video as well um no, I wouldn't be purchasing any of those with gold merit badges. I'd be focusing on leveling up your first legendary hero. If you want to buy it out of curiosity, of course you can do it by buying it from the wishing shop. But essentially, um, it's it's not really going to improve you very much. I'm just going to just put it out there. Your wings are probably not going to do as much as you think they will. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're going to get some statistics by clicking the refine button. As you can see, it's boosting up my power. I'm getting 195k attack. I'm getting uh, all attack, all HP and defense. Sorry, not 195k attack. That's HP. Then I'm getting like 10k attack and some defense by refining it. But I'm not actually getting anything additional on the base statistic, which is if I have a look at it. So I'm not really realistically getting an all total damage increase like 5% or anything like that. So... I'm only just getting the base stats, but not necessarily the total damage increase, which is, you know, it is what it is. I didn't really expect them to do that. Uh, potentially, if I rank this up higher, it may become a factor. But yeah, I don't think you should be spending that um, at all. If you're interested or curious, if you're a free-to-play player, um, ignore this side of it. But if you're not and you're like, hey, I just want to buy myself a butterfly feather... You can do it for like 10 a 10 USD or $14 AUD. So they've even allowed that to be in the shop. As far as I know, you still can't buy the bloody frost horde feather. Not that I feel like you should have to. Um, but yeah, ultimately you can't. Of course you can get some of these shards as well, which is quite interesting. But no, we, we're saying no to all of that. <laughs> we're saying no to all of that. <clears throat> so in short... Uh, Feathers. Feathers are there. You got to use them to refine them, all the additional butterflies. Uh, you can basically use those as you see fit. Uh, I would say if you're ambitious and you're spending, you're probably going to cap out at Winter Prism by the time you get your first or second Frost Sword. Uh, but from then on, it's going to be a little bit uh, pay to win special. Because you need to obviously finish in the top three of the arms race to uh, acquire the Thunder Feather. Um, I probably will start to refine once I hit Winter Prism um, and just see whether or not they follow along. I don't think you can. I don't think you can regress wings. No, you can't. So once it's in there, it's fixed. It's a fixed thing, um, is what it is. I hope that answered some of your questions, though. I don't personally think you should be doing that. Uh, if you're in a situation where you're thinking about leveling it up, I really don't see how the statistics are going to boost you that much higher. I would honestly not be purchasing it from the shop. I'd be focusing on uh, your legendary charms, uh, that's, that's in my opinion, I'd be buying legendary charms, um, of course, if you're free to play, you should be buying your legendary hero shards from here, um, 
But yes, I don't think you should be spending any of the rare feathers on that at all, unfortunately. Sorry if that disappoints you. I will, of course, tell you that uh, not to purchase that in the, in the chat. Um, just use the pre-existing ones that you can get. Hopefully, you manage to, um, of course, uh, keep pushing the brackets in the arms race. Um, but yeah, it just doesn't seem like a good investment, unfortunately. All right. Anyway, I figured that will cover this topic. I will be doing another special topic concerning another viewer's questions relating to uh, weapons, all things weapons. So stay tuned for that one. I will do that at level 90 once I uh, get everything unlocked because it's going to involve me leveling up some of those weapons. And then after that, I want to do my power boost level video, which hopefully we will hit um, maybe I feel like three or four hundred million uh, power. So, you know, stick around for that one. But anyway, thank you so much for all those that are continuing to support this channel. Uh, please like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, never stop uh, putting in those comments and that feedback. Uh, we love that and we would like to try to answer that the best way we can and we'll catch you in the next one.